But enough with the pleasantries. We're going to get straight to it. I'm going to share my screen with you. And uh, we'll talk in a minute, but I want to show you something awesome real quick. And boom, you'll be seeing my screen. So went up here. I said, I have these six business models, Chat GPT. Chat GPT, what's going on? All right, Crikey, in my British voice, okay? <laughs> or Australian. All right, <laughs> I have these six business models. Number one, niche directory. Uh, number two, niche social network. Number three, niche website builder like Wix and WordPress. Number four, niche affiliate network. And we're going to break all of these down, guys. Uh, number five, niche e-commerce platform like Shopify or Amazon. And number six, uh, niche appointment booking site like Calendly. Tell me in detail why each of these business models are extremely profitable. Include popular industry uh, examples. So why did I ask ChatGPT that? Well, in the asset empire, when that is launched, when the boot camp actually starts, it's an eight week boot camp. When that starts, we're going to be building out these assets, or more importantly, these assets will be built for you because you are business owners, guys. You don't want to be doing the janitor's job and you're trying to be the CEO, right? Okay. So these assets are going to be built for you. And we're going to step by step for the entire eight weeks go through marketing, ads how to fill them up with users, how to monetize them, how to create a passive income out of these assets so that it's long lasting and it's like a, a, a protection and insurance, a moat of money coming in for you where you never have to worry about working or hard sales ever again. All right. So before we move on, I am going to share another video, guys, with you guys. So some of you guys have purchased the IG scraper. Some of you guys downloaded it, and for some weird reason, you guys see it on my side. When I show it to you, it's in English. But when you download it, it's in Spanish. So, so what we're doing is we're creating an entirely new IG Legion scraper tool. It's going to have all of our branding on it, and it's going to be it should, it's going to be in English on everybody's computer, and it's going to work on all uh, types of computers as well. So that'll be done uh, within a week's time, uh, Lord's will. Okay, so just be patient with that, so that you guys can get your leads going and get your uh, get your your sales going. But I'm gonna share the video for you guys that downloaded it already. I'm gonna show you step by step. It's not difficult to download it, man. <laughs> but the new version will be more simplified. All right, here we go. All righty, for those of you who have uh, purchased the IG Scraper tool, I uploaded two of them to the site. So you're supposed to be trying both of them. And some of you guys seem to be getting stuck at the extraction point. So I'm going to show you guys at the extraction point. And don't worry, we are uh, creating an entirely different version. It will have our branding on it and everything, and you will get that free. So guys, just be patient if you're having trouble with this one. Uh, okay, but this is how you do it, all right? So let's say that you downloaded it already. You should be able to download it from the site. And guess what? Here it is right here is a RAR file. So you're going to need to be able to extract that. So we opened up this. So all I did was uh, to find this site right here was I Googled. Here we go. Come on. Come on. I Googled unzip RAR files free. R-A-R files free. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of them. You can use Win. You can use anyone, you know, and you can just try a couple if you're having issues. But this one works fine. This is easy, uh, easy zip. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take that file. Ah, come on, let's go back over there. Where did it go? Did I exit out? And you need to be able to. Here we go. All right. So now I'm just gonna drag this file over right here. And for some reason, it tells you to enter a password. I don't know why. Boom. So never watch this. I'm going to click on this right here and boom. So here are all the files in here. So all you're going to do is go one by one. For some reason, when you click save all, it doesn't work. But you just go one by one and download all the files. Let me show you which one are the actual apps themselves, the one you're going to click on when it's done. These are the actual apps. So once it's done extracting and it's all the way done, and everything you got all of these downloaded you're simply going to um you're going to click on it the same way that you guys see me do it so let me give you an example all right so let me go inside <clears throat> mines where is mines my actual one 
Okay, so we click on that one. All right, so you're going to have this when you're done. Make sure you save it to a folder with the same name. And boom, as you can see, all of those files that we extracted, they're in this same folder right here. These are all the files that you guys just saw. And as you can see down here, it says application right here and application right here. You can click on either one of them. I usually click on this one right here. Boom. And you're just going to put one, two, three. That's the password. Boom. Okay. So as you guys see, it's working. It's going to open up. Give me one second. Give me one second. Hopefully this long video actually uploads to StreamYard. For some reason, they don't really like you long videos. Okay, is opening. No problem. For those of you complaining, no problem. And as you can see, it's in English, y'all. So don't worry. If you're having issues, then, you know, the new version that we are actually fixing and done, almost done creating, that one will be done in a few days, maybe next week, and you'll get that one for free. So you're just going to log in. So if you do see it in Spanish, just remember, just look at this right here. Is name password for your Instagram. You're gonna well, you're gonna log in, okay? So profit. Ah, I'll just log in. To, yeah, give me one second, and then I think that's the password for it. Oops. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's the wrong password. Uh, basically, you would just log in. I'm gonna try one more of these. I don't know if that's the password for that either. That's not the password. I got like 50 different Instagram, but you basically, you log in your Instagram. Then you're going to come over here. You're going to set this to uh, one right there. Then you're going to set this to 10. And then you're going to say how many results you want. Okay, so we're over in the search by hashtag, guys, in case you don't remember. No matter if it's English or not, this, you see the big hashtag right there. We got to use a little bit of common sense, y'all. Okay, so we put this to 10,000, however many leads you think you want. Then you put the hashtag, whatever the hashtag is. You don't have to put the actual hashtag. You just put the keyword that you're looking for. You're going to search uh, your login. You're going to see your login, but I'm not logged in right now, so you can't see it. You'll click, you'll select your login. Remember that. And then you're just going to press start, and it's going to begin extracting. That simple, guys. It's that simple, I promise. So as you saw... I downloaded, I went there to the site, and you extract the files one by one. And as you saw me, I clicked on the app once it was extracted, then opened up, and boom, you log in and you start running it. Please. It be uh, But if you are still having issues, don't worry. Be patient. We are building a brand new, simple, way more simple version for you guys. All right? Love you. See you in a couple of hours when we go live. All right. All righty then. So as you guys saw, I downloaded it. It's in English. I don't know why it's not in English on you guys. Right? But we're working on the new one, right? Okay. So within a week, you'll get that for free. All right. So no complaining. Uh, the Bible talks about murmuring, right? But anyway, so I got y'all back. Remember that. I always got y'all back. All right. Never going to leave y'all in a bad situation or anything. All right. I want y'all to be successful. Okay. So now back over here, we're going to break down these industries that we're going to be doing, uh, uh, that we're going to be infiltrating and then, and then taking over or just making some money, some good money uh, in the asset empire course. So like I said, we have the niche directory. That's number one. We have niche social network. We have the niche website builder. We have the niche uh, affiliate network. We have the niche e-commerce platform. And then we have niche appointment booking site. So we're going to start with niche directory. So why are we starting with this? Remember, our guys, I teach you guys. This is Anti-Job University, where I teach you entrepreneurship through asset ownership so that you can one day be rich enough to ownership instead of being so broke you can only afford a ticket to get ownership bars. So I don't want you guys to just participate. I want you to actually be owners of a business if you call yourself a business owner. All right. Entrepreneurship. That word is tainted is all over the place. You need to be a business owner. OK, something tangible. So a niche directory is so many successful out there and a lot of them are billions. You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to read this. Watch this. It says a niche directory is a website that focuses on listing businesses, services or products with a specific industry or market segment. OK, watch this. These types of directories can be highly profitable because they target because they provide targeted and relevant information to users. So 
the first person that gets helped on there is the user which can lead to increased engagement and conversions. Okay, so who gives the conversion? The conversion is split in two. So let's say you're selling leads on your niche directory, it's real estate. I'll give you an example. We got Zillow and I'm gonna show you guys a couple of these in a minute, okay? So it's Zillow, all right? So a user come on there, they wanna get help to sell or buy a house. So as soon as that user comes on the platform, the platform is already monetized. It has ads on there. OK. And on top of that, each realtor has to pay. They have to pay Zillow to be featured in a specific order so that their properties are visible. So the user gets help when they can come on there. And now the realtor gets help when they collect the lead. And then the owner of the platform, you, you, you get help because you get paid when a conversion is made on a platform. When a phone call happens, you if you set up a deal with that realtor, then you getting paid per lead. If somebody purchases something on the platform, you get paid from that as well as that 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 person that has a listing on the platform. That's how it works. Okay, so it uh for example, we got Yelp. I know that every last one of you guys on here have heard of Yelp before. I'm going to go over here and do something. Let's try something. Let's assume that you from some country that haven't been discovered yet and uh we'll, we'll 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 just go over here okay so let's yelp net worth uh 2000 well i don't think they did 23 yet but we'll just say okay now i'm gonna share this screen with you so you guys can see it for your dang old selves man so we got 24 people on here get these likes up mo help me out let's share that in my more lauren's voice Let's go boom i just shared the same browser with y'all hold on <laughs> okay now yelp there we go that's the window oh my god oh my god <laughs> so it got 2.02 .02 billion dollars and it's just a platform it's just a platform that allows people to meet and conduct business. Yelp themselves don't have to sell anything for real, except for maybe advertising space, but that's because they want to, right? But they, all they did was provide a platform. What I'm trying to teach you guys, create an asset that is valuable to multiple parties and uh, multiple people benefit from it, including you. You don't have to be this traditional entrepreneur business owner always on this grind mode you can create the platform that people grind on oh yeah oh yeah so look how much a company is worth is typically represented by its market capitalization or the current stock price multi multiplied uh by the number of shares outstanding yelp net worth as of january 17 2023 is two billies two billies and they only got 4,000 something employees. Listen, man, listen, I'm not trying to play games. Now, I'm not trying to tell y'all that y'all going to be billionaires. I'm not even close to being a dang on billionaire. But once again, I told you I wanted you guys to build passive income assets that bring you passive income. Even if you had 200 to 2000 users on each of the assets that I'm going to show you how to monetize, you're set. You're good. You're good. You don't have to be the industry leader. Now, I'm never going to dim your light. If you want to go hard with one of these assets, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to overthrow you. If that's what you want to do, then do your thing. But I'm just letting you know, I'm not trying to show you the world. I'm not Aladdin. You understand? I just want you to get cake. And I just don't want you to be stressed because your business is supposed to serve you, not the other way around. You're not supposed to be on it all day, every day calling leads and doing all this extra bull so if you set up an asset for you to work for you around the clock you only got to set it up once and the users create user generated activity on the uh, platform they're buying selling they're sharing it they're posting it on their own social medias they're running ads to it because they got profiles on it they're doing all the work growing your stuff that's why it's so important y'all you set it up and they go. Do do you think Facebook got to do SEO? No. 
because you're constantly on there creating content, posting how you feel. Uh, and every time Google gets a ping of, of this Facebook website, just constantly creating this new good content just all day, all day. Do, do y'all see what I'm talking about? So that was number one, a niche directory. So you don't have to be Yelp. You understand? You can be um, whoever you want to be. And you would in the Asset Empire Bootcamp, we're going to pick a specific niche. Ah, that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to download the video. They got the 500, 600 niches in it. If y'all wonder who I'm looking at, my wife is over there. But <laughs> I was I was supposed to upload is a video uh, that I have in one of my old courses. And it has like almost 600 obscure niches, obscure meaning it's not flooded like the one i just showed you i just talked to you about real estate is a million directories in real estate but what if you were like the only uh directory for pawn shops or coffee shops or or something like that you're gonna like just instantly like like rank and dominate like just instantly even and when inside the asset empire boot camp you're going to get my perfect seo game plan Nobody really has that except for my top drop service and students. You understand my top godfather drop service and students from the beginning of the scamdemic. They got it. But listen, the perfect SEO game plan, nobody can outrank you, even if they have a bigger budget than you. You understand? I've been doing this since the end of 2014. I know what I'm talking about, y'all. All right. So God gave me a gift. This is my gift. If you ever watch Undisputed, uh, Boyga said, God, give me a gift. Only one. I am the most complete fighter in the world. Yes, that's my Russian voice, right? But for me, this is what I am good at. You understand what I'm talking about? All right, so number two. Let's go back over here to uh, chat GPT real quick. So tell me what y'all thinking in the comments. What y'all thinking about y'all niche directory what niche have you thought of i'm gonna give y'all that niche video but like be creative matter of fact matter of fact don't because there's so many sheep and copycats don't even put the niche that you're gonna go in in there okay uh <laughs> but we're gonna have that built for you then we're gonna populate it with money every person that visits the site is money okay all right so number two is a social network okay a niche social network now why is that powerful well because everybody uses facebook instagram and all of that blah 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 but people like to feel special though you understand what i'm saying if it was a niche um uh, this is why forums did so good forums i know you guys know what a forum is right okay so like let's say it was a social network for just plumbers do you see what I'm saying? You see how valuable that'll be? This is why LinkedIn took over because it was the first social network for just business only. Just business only. Where do all the SEOs try to get their clients from? LinkedIn. Where do all the social media uh, agencies try to get their clients from? LinkedIn. Because it's literally a source of only just business owners and it's a social network for them. You see what I'm saying? So you're going to create this niche this niche social network, this clubhouse for specific industry, which is going to allow you to cut through all the social network traffic and stuff and populate yours. So even if it's, let's say it's 3,800 realtors in the United States, all of them on your platform, sharing information, congregating, uh, giving good tips and creating a lot of activity on there generating leads on there, sharing money on there and all that, that's going to be highly, highly, highly profitable for you. Y'all don't understand how powerful it is to niche down. So creating your own niche social network, we're going to help you with that. So watch this. A niche social network is a platform that connects people with similar interests within a specific industry or market segment. These type of networks can be highly profitable because they provide a dedicated audience audience for businesses to market to oh yeah baby okay so it says which can lead to increased engagement and conversions for example i ain't even look at this linkedin see chat gpt know a little something something don't they there's a lot of people complaining about chat gpt but as you can see i asked it this and they broke it down break it break it down instead of breaking me on down 
in my bone thugs voice okay so check this out we got the niche website builder so a lot of you guys build your stuff on wordpress some of you build it on wix as you've seen some of my stuff is built on weebly uh builder all and all of that stuff what if you were a website builder so if you notice something guys is a pattern everything we're talking about all of these assets will allow other people to build upon them all right. If you give somebody something to stand on, they're thankful forever and they plug in their systems to you. So it's kind of hard to disconnect, meaning it's kind of hard to not pay you monthly. If I build my entire business on your platform, how can I like not pay my subscription? Do you understand why these assets are going to be so powerful? Because once a person creates a profile on something, it's an addiction. They have to go back to see if they're getting likes. They have to go back and see if they got somebody to DM them. They have to go back to see if they got sales. They have to go back to see if they're growing. So I'm teaching you to build a moat around yourself of assets that will take on lives of their own through your income. All right. So what's up, Gary? He says, I look forward to seeing the video. You mentioned it in a number of times, but uh, before nobody talks niche like you do. Appreciate it, bro. Uh, what's up, Charles? He said, and there it is. Uh, all in wine repentance. What's up? I'm happy you back. Happy family. Uh, hey, family. God bless uh, you. Uh, great work. I appreciate it. My bad, y'all. I'm just seeing these. Um, Seth says, hey, keep it up. <laughs> Keep it real hood, bro. Yo, <laughs> you already know. Um, Andrew said 305 on deck. Got y'all. What's up? Yo, Zay, greetings. Well, um, we got Muhammad. What's good? We got James. What's good? When is the boot camp, brother? Okay. Now, let me show y'all something real quick. Okay. Before we move on, I'm going to share my screen with you, and I want you guys to uh, take a moment to go and... Uh, Go and vote. I'm allowing you guys. I'm giving you guys the power. You got the power. Like that 80s song. Or was that early 90s? Anyway, uh, I'm you guys the power to choose. Because I don't want I don't want to release it when people can't get in it. I don't want no excuses. This is gonna be the most immaculate uh event in, in the history of internet -adom. If that's a word, you understand what I'm saying? Nobody is ran an eight week boot camp. I'm going to have the developers there with me. I'm going to have other marketers, some of my old successful students. If you guys haven't watched my uh, 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 testimonial or client results marathon, you can go watch that. But I always tell people to stop watching testimonials and become one. Um, but yeah, like this boot camp is going to be freaking off the chain. You understand what I'm saying? And when you come out the other side, when your cocoon opens up, you understand when you're done forming inside that cocoon and you're ready to spread those wings out. Another thing that's going to spread out is your money. You understand what I'm talking about? So we're over here. I'm about to share my screen. Uh, Dustin says, I saw one of your videos. Do you actually make 15 K a month with chat GPT? No chat GPT just came out. You have to build things off of it first. When you see those titles and videos, people are telling you the earning potential that you can make with it, guys. Come on, we got to use a little bit. So you can make that. But chat, remember this, guy. Chat GPT is an assistant. The ideas and the tools and the apps and everything that you get from Chat GPT is what you're going to use to go then make the 15K a month. You understand what I'm talking about? So you'll take the idea from ChatGPT and you'll plug it into your agency. And that is what will make you the 15K a month. You will take the code from ChatGPT and you'll plug it into your app idea. And that is what will make you the 15K a month. But ChatGPT itself is not your asset. So you are not making nothing from ChatGPT. It's your assistant. You understand what I'm saying? The same way. OK, we ain't going to get into that because I get in trouble. OK, <laughs> but do y'all understand a little bit more? It, when, when people say, OK, I can make chat, uh, 30K from chat GPT, they're not saying that chat GPT itself like has a marketplace on it or something like that. It's talking. To, they're talking about taking the idea from chat GPT and bringing it into a reality. That is what is going to make the money. So that is how you leverage it. You leverage it as if it's 
your advisor, like a business advisor, or you're having a strategy session with it. Let's say you don't have any business partners or friends that you can trust. Chat GPT is the one that you can go to and say, hey, I got a few ideas. You know, I don't really know how to go about this. How do I actually make this a reality? What do you suggest? As you saw, guys, I put the um, put in chat GPT the six different niches. And I asked chat GPT to tell me which ones would be the most profitable, how it would profit, what do you recommend and all of that. And it broke it down as if I'm talking to one of my homeboys. You understand? So that's how you use chat GPT to make money. But chat GPT itself ain't making nobody money. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody is actually deriving money from chat GPT unless you you're just doing article content type stuff on Fiverr. But I'm trying to teach you guys how to make crap loads of money. Not just some fiber gig money. No offense to anybody. You understand what I'm talking about? You need to have assets. Chat GPT, you can get the coding from there to build assets. Chat GPT, you can get the ideas. You can say, look, Chat GPT, there are a lot of directories that assist lawyers. What are the lawyers that people don't know too much about that I could build a directory to serve? And then they might come with the mass torrent. Uh, I mean, not the torrent, mass tort niche where people get like get hurt with the, uh, you know, have you used baby powder in the last 12, <laughs> 12 months? You know, that niche right there or the dog bite lawyers. You see what I'm saying? It's all these different things that ChatGPT knows. That is how you get the money from it, man. You leverage knowledge. OK, so somebody said pretty cash. I mean, well, that's the name of them. They said virtual assistant. Exactly. Chat GPT, if you want to sum it up, they're a virtual assistant that you don't have to pay that is almost smarter than you and definitely faster than you and has access to more resources than you. So can you make money with Chat GPT? It depends on how you think about it. You understand? Like, you see what I'm saying? So, guys, look, we have common sense offline, but sometimes when we go online, is we get confused and everything. And that's okay. That's okay. But you're not going to the chat GPT itself is not making you money. What you can get out of chat GPT, that's the power. You understand what I'm talking about? Listen, you can tell it to, hey, write me a whole new uh, uh, program. I don't know, I'm not good at coding. Write me a whole new program for Grammarly that is 10 times better than Grammarly because these are the errors that I found with Grammarly. I need it to be in this type of coding language. Do that. <laughs> This is the type of money you can. That's how you can make the money from it. You see what I'm saying? But yeah, you can't monetize it itself. He said, "Ah, he answered my other question. I was wondering if you could use ChatGPT to code your automations to automate a business, for example." Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know how Zapier? Have you guys ever heard of Zapier? Put a one in the chat if you guys have heard of Zapier. There's 42 or 41 people on here. Put a one in the chat. Class participation points. Let's do this. Level up. Okay, if you heard of Zapier before, if you haven't heard of Zapier before, Zapier is just an app. And this app is coded to uh, allow other apps and softwares through APIs to communicate with each other in order to automate entire businesses. That's all it is. You can literally go on ChatGPT and say, write me a, a code for an app that will allow other apps to communicate with each other through APIs similar to Zapier. And before you can find a human that can figure that out, ChatGPT will figure it out before you do. You understand what I'm saying? So you just take what ChatGPT can give you. It's not gonna give you everything, but this is uh, that's why I got a video coming out tomorrow. It's called um, uh, Supercharged ChatGPT through Prompt engineering you have to know the right questions the right things to say just like with a woman i mean come on i ain't gotta spit your game talk your grab your game call your i ain't gotta tell y'all no game yo if you if you're a dude right and it's a chick that you like and you're you're afraid you don't know if she like you the same way or something like that blah 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 you know you only got a few chances or a few things to say to her that will either turn her off or turn her on so you're going to think super hard 
before you open your mouth and say the wrong thing. So you're going to think on what questions should I ask her that will really convince her that I am interested in her more than just physically and that will set me apart from the other guys. You need to know these prompts for chat GPT too. You can't just say, hey, write me a book on kids playing at the playground and expect to get crazy, awesome content from that. Come on, man. We got to be creative. We can't let AI take over. Y'all already forfeiting. <laughs> no, don't let it do everything. Prove that you are still useful too. Create a kid's playground book for me on safety of strangers at the playground when teachers ain't around and the parents are out of town. You got to get super specific, you understand? If you want that type of real good and bullies are there. You understand? Come on, man. All right. So if y'all really interested in using chat GPT to level up, you got to get these prompts, get your prompt game going. Like when I ask it to make me something, it ain't going to be the same question as the other million people that's using it. If I come out with a book from it, it's not going to sound like it. It can be a romance novel all it want, but I'm going to say make it a romance novel, but it takes place near Christmas time and is for the LGBT community. And people are going on strike around that time for this same scenario. But two people named Larry and Tom somehow persevere and find love through this all. That's their names for some reason, right? <laughs> I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, right? You understand what I'm saying? It's going to write some completely original for that. There's no way it can copy the internet if I give it to, you know, like specific prompts. See, guys, that's how you use ChatGPT. Uh, Charles said, yes, the prompts are the key in the engine. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Come on, y'all. Now, let me get back to business, man. All right. I ain't get to show you share my screen with y'all. What? 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 What y'all say? Got my uh, my wife laughing, man. All in wine says, yeah. <laughs> All in wine said, yeah. I know, man. You see my... <laughs> You see my face. I had the Norbit face when he said my beautiful wife Respusia. <laughs> I had that face, man, but whatever. You know, I just I had to get real specific with it, right? Okay, so let's see. Boom. Right here. Uh where is it at? Okay, here it is. Y'all need to go ahead and vote. What day should I launch our 3K asset empire? Eight week boot camp to build passive income. So I got two choices, man. January 28th, because I told y'all, some of y'all, it will be the week of the 20th this month. And I'm super excited that I just want to do it right now. But I also told y'all it'll be during tax season. And my wife just reminded me, dude, taxes don't come out in, a, in, a, uh, in January no more. That's like in the middle of freaking February. I'm like, oh, snap. Dang. So how do I hold them off until then? So, but most people are saying, as you can see, well, there's only three votes. But most people said the week of January 28th. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't trying to wait, huh? Y'all ain't trying to like f them taxes. I will get a loan. I will take this ring and pawn it in. I'll take that big TV that ain't doing nothing. That car that's clunky anyway. Let's take it down to the Salvation Yard and see what we can get for it real quick. You understand what I'm saying? So some of y'all just want to go ahead and go. But we're going to see what more people say, and I'm going to let you guys choose because I want you guys to have the power. I want you guys to have the power. Be comfortable, and I want us to have a good time building passive income streams that are long-lasting well after you guys know me. Long-lasting that you can pass down. The Bible says that you are supposed, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Y'all going to hear me say that a lot. Am I trying to guilt you? Yes, I'm trying to guilt you. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to guilt you because the world is going to. It's OK. It's OK to work a job. What's the name of my channel? How are you going to pass your job down to your kids? You do you realize you're starting them right at the at the at the dang on starting point of the race? After you didn't went through retirement and had a hard life. Now your kid, you want your kid to go through that too? You want them to have to fill out an application and be, deal with the BS of the world and all the dangers and the struggles out there? Hell no. That's very selfish of anybody that wants their kid to have to go through what they went through. No. No. My kids ain't. Listen. My 
Hook on Phonics ain't gonna be able to teach my kids how to spell application. If they get, somebody try to pass them an application, the the pen won't even touch the paper. They they be like, no, ain't working for nobody else. And I strongly suggest you guys get that mindset too. All right, um, you have to go to the community section, Gary, on the channel. Um, you know, it's a community tab, and you will see the poll right there, pause, where it asks you what day you want to, um, you know, the course to come out on it. So it's a course, like I said, the course, and it's the boot camp. The course, if you just want the course by itself, we decided that's just going to be 2K. If you want the boot camp, and the boot camp, like I said, the boot camp, there's going to be me there. It's going to be other teachers. It's going to be developers. It's going to be people that actually have apps and assets out there. Come on, man. Come on. 3K ain't nothing. You understand? In my juvenile voice. Okay, so by the end of this asset, uh, Empire class, you guys are going to have five to seven different assets that are set up, monetized, bringing you passive income. Am I promising you you will be rich? No, I'm not. Let me say that right now. That determines on how, how hard how you want to go and how far you want to go. My goal is to get you passive income, get you monetized, get you to where you're not on a hamster wheel. Because we quit the nine to five job, then we jump into entrepreneurship and still be like all day grinding and stuff from out of the frying pan into the fire. The only way to escape that is assets. You're not going to see Mark Zuckerberg grinding hard because he got a platform where you build on top of. You're not going to see whatever that lady name is that on YouTube. Because y'all upload billions of videos. We on there right now using her stuff. You see what I'm saying? So it's there, man. All right. So back to the niche. Back to the niches. And then I'm going to show you guys the net worths and how how little employees these dudes, these dudes be having. We be thinking these massive billion dollar companies be, oh, they must employ like 300,000. No. <laughs> no. Because automations, softwares do the bulk of it and then you might get the humans to do like stuff like the customer service but if you guys didn't hear google's ai google have a a, a ai because a customer service ai that they uh they got behind the scenes and it might be going public soon people ain't gonna be working for target they ain't gonna be on the phone when you call live for uh, uh for amazon and you got a problem and you're trying to send something back <laughs> the bank None of this stuff. You ain't talking to nobody live ever again. So don't get it twisted, y'all. Y'all better embrace this AI stuff. Use it, man. Okay, so next. After the niche directory, we got the social network. Then, uh, so we talked about the social network. Now we're talking about the website builder. And before, just a minute ago, I told you the importance of this. The power in having your own website builder like Wix, Weebly, WordPress, is you got a direct line of communication to all the people you always wanted to make money with. Imagine running a network event with all of the clients that you actually want. Like you got all realtors in one room and you know they all got money. You know exactly how much they make because you got access to all of that stuff through data. And that's what having a website builder is. When a person builds their websites on top of your platform you know everything about them because they got to sign up using their email their phone number they got to pay with their debit card and all of that extra stuff so you got all this data and information on them so look at it bigger it's, it's way bigger than just oh this is a website builder no guess what guess what watch this if they're using your website builder Correct me if I'm wrong, but if you don't pay for the premium version most of the time, you're going to have Wix logo on the footer or the header of your site, Weebly on the header of your site, or on, in your domain is going to say davidsassetempire.wordpress.com. That don't look too professional when you're trying to sell stuff. So you pay the monthly $39 or $59 a month to make it be a .com. So you got to buy the domain. You got to pay to get the footer, uh, their logo off of your site. And they get to sell you hosting 
On top of that, it might be ads on there. On top of that, they know what type of business you are and they have your email and number. So now they can follow up through autoresponders selling you other stuff for your business on autopilot. Oh, yeah. Do y'all see? So even if you had like 200 people, this is like you leading the rats into the dang on trap with the cheese. The cheese is the website builder. You don't have to get them to want to build a website. Just knowing that they want to get the word out about their products and services, they go to build a website on their own. You just put the platform right there. That's the cheese. Now, once they made the actual site on there, boom, the, tra the trap closes shut. They stuck because if they don't pay, their website goes out of service. People go to the site and it says under construction. <laughs> Site suspended. So you literally control the lifeline of their business if you own a website. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. Tell me. Tell me. You understand what I'm talking about? You sell them. You got ads on there. You sell them the domain. You sell them a, a, a premium plan so they can get the, the your logo off their footing. Uh, their footer, I mean. You sell them hosting. That's for them. It's like that. We're, um, it's like that. We're having a um, an ATM. It's like that. We're having an ATM. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, come on, man. So we're gonna move on. It says a niche website builder is a platform that allows users to easily create and design websites within a specific niche uh, uh, industry or market segment. These types of builders can be highly profitable because they create a user-friendly solution for businesses to create a website which can lead to increased engagement, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they keep saying the same thing at the end of it. Okay, so then they give examples, Wix and WordPress. Now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look up, uh, you guys already know about WordPress, but let's see Wix's net worth. Oh my God, y'all can't see my screen yet. Y'all can't see my screen yet. Oh, snap. All right, check this out. I'm gonna show you how much Wix is and it is only providing you providing a platform for you to go and build on. They ain't even got to sell nothing. They just look, look, you built your site on it. Snap. They worth more than freaking Yelp. And they're not even the old platform. We ain't even got the WordPress. Wix is worth $4.76 billion. Now, check this out. Once again, disclaimer, I never said you're going to be a billionaire. So freaking bad. I never said that. I never said that, okay? I'm not promising you none of that. All I'm saying is that even if you had 200 businesses on there, and you guys have seen my softwares, I'm going to show you guys the softwares again. For those of you who are new, these softwares will automatically, on autopilot all day while you're working, send your promotions to these businesses. So imagine having a list of 3,000 realtors and you got this software just in the background saying, hey, if you transfer all your listings over to our platform, you're going to get this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. You create the irresistible offer. We're going to talk about that. And as those people come over there, it's instant monetization. Oh, my God. I'm getting hot. I'm already doing a motion for it. So, I mean, come on, man. Let me know what y'all think. Tell me. Hold on. Hold on, man. Why I let that go? I'll let that go. Let me see. What, what's WordPress? WordPress Press Network. I know they about like, I, I can't even see. They ain't even telling me nothing. About, oh, they said something about $3 billion. I don't know why it's less than Wix. Wix's marketing is way better. I don't really see too much marketing about like WordPress. For real, for real. Uh, so we got Gary in here. He says, that's a very nice touch. I've never clicked on that link before, but now I've learned something new. I'm learning a lot with you, uh, yeah, it's real, David. Thank you. Dustin said, I just got my realtor's license. I want to figure out how to use ChatGPT to up my game 100,000. Okay, let me go ahead and help him real quick. Just give an example of how ChatGPT can elevate your, your uh, real estate game. First of all, as a realtor guy, come on, man. You got to know what your superpower is, Dustin. You have access to all these other realtors. Some of them new, some of them six-figure per month earners. You can become an authority. 
if you become more than just a realtor what do i mean what if you had your own realtor platform what if you had your own little local it could be local i'm not telling remember i'm not telling you to go and try to compete with zillow or realtor.com or red how uh redfin but what if you were the local directory listing for real estate and you rank for all the terms for homes for sale and all of that that means they go through you they go through even your dang own so-called competitors got to go through you <laughs> to get leads and money and all of that extra stuff and deals you understand what i'm talking about so now how do we do that how do we beat zillow well zillow is a gargantuan company and they don't really focus on the chump change and i'm going to show you what i mean watch this um give me long tail keywords for a specific for specific uh neighborhoods and uh specific neighborhoods with one two three four bedroom apartments and houses so where's the power in that is long tail we asked for long tail keywords and now in miami florida i don't know where you at but so now they're going to give us this stuff one two three four bedroom apartment houses specific neighborhoods and ooh, i didn't even say uh specific neighborhoods and zip codes this is how i beat out everybody when i'm doing real estate boom ah now we got to refresh i guess we had that page on there too long let me refresh the page come on chat gpt don't be messing with me i'm live right now okay let's go back over here come on man what's up i can't even see my models no more where is it at chat gpt is acting up right now we'll, we'll just type something new let's see what it do what it do what it do what it do i'm asking you what it do what it, all right look at this man why is it acting up right now okay we came back over here but i guess we could use that new one right here yeah i see y'all experiencing the dang on glitch please hang tight no plug that in right only one message at a time this is one message chat gbt be wilding okay come on come on come on come on work 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 to your man boy when you live boy it'd be all type of technical difficulties on it all right there you guys go y'all see it one bedroom apartments in brickle three three one four bedroom houses and blah 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 you see what i'm saying so this is how you use chat gpt to get ahead of the game you understand and stay ahead four bedroom is giving you all the keywords in the miami area it's giving you the neighborhoods and everything watch this uh continue okay baby let's do this continue for me chat gpt let's do it that's too slow yeah 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 there's that rock the boat on you all right so now we got three bedroom apartments blah 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 it's going through all the areas all of the neighborhoods all of the freaking like long tail keywords when you got this and everybody else is just trying to rank for homes for sale in miami or whatever city it is when you got something like this this is extremely powerful include off-market property keywords let's see what to do with this all this is live y'all so i don't know what it's gonna say then we're gonna get back over there to the niches that we was talking about okay because we got a few more and you know all right come on man speed it up speed it up speed it up i'm gonna look like i'm gonna speed it up Huh. So many of you guys are in real estate. Okay, yeah, we're done. We're done. Listen, but you, hopefully, Lord willing, you have experienced how ChatGPT can help you in a real estate niche. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, Randy says, when is boot camp? Over there on the channel, it's a poll. You can go over there and choose. Or you can go over there and vote on a poll. I need y'all to go over there and vote. And... Um, the options is January 28th 
are in February 20th. I'm trying to pick a date where everybody will be able to afford it. I'm trying. So you guys go over there and choose. I'm not going to do it. You go over there and choose. All right. So uh, DeWine says, how could I properly optimize ChatGPT to run my limousine service niche? Okay, we'll get to that before we get off here. Um, Gary says, powerful teaching here with keywords, long tail, with zip codes and neighborhoods. That could be used for so many different things. This is gold, silver, and platinum all together, baby. You already know. All right, so <laughs> let's get back to it, though, man. So as y'all saw, WordPress is worth about three billy boys. Then we saw that Wix, Wix, which is newer than WordPress, showing you is no time. Uh, 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 what do you call it? A time stamp or a time? Uh, somebody was saying, "Oh, you're telling people they can build businesses fast." What is this? The 1800s? Chat. Well, hold on. Cash App came out in what? 2013 and it's worth more almost worth more than paypal it ain't no get rich slow if you get rich slow you're never gonna get rich don't be afraid to get rich fast come on man like what you want to do be 78 and then just give it to your kids or somebody because you can't enjoy it no more no yes you can leverage ai tools for outreach box and all of this extra stuff for sales customize a lot of different tools and and things to help you and your businesses to expedite the process you understand what i'm saying okay so now let's move on so we the last one we just did was the niche website builder and y'all see how powerful that is y'all see how uh, powerful that is next is the affiliate network if you don't know what an affiliate network is it's kind of like clickbank or max bounty put a one in the chat if you ever heard of, of an affiliate network or you uh made money through an affiliate network maybe okay so here's the definition it says a niche affiliate network is a platform that connects businesses with affiliates an affiliate is just a person that doesn't own their own business but they want to make money helping other people get sales for their business so they don't have to do any of the customer service any of the product creation but they make money just by connecting the business owner with customers that's the easy way of describing what an affiliate is so affiliates who promote their products or services within a specific industry or segment so check this out watch this these types of networks can be highly profitable because they provide a cost-effective way for businesses to promote their products and services okay what does that mean if i am a realtor i don't know why i keep using real estate but you guys might have heard bird doggers before right most of the time a realtor will pay a bird dogger maybe around 500 to a thousand bucks if they bring them a deal that actually closes okay but a lot of realtors have been getting hooked up with facebook ad agencies paying them three thousand five thousand dollars a month to run ads and get them leads and stuff what if a realtor could pay for an actual signed agreement now i just told y'all one of my secrets oh what am i doing here why am i being so nice okay so what if a realtor only paid after you already got the the seller's agreement signed you're like how is that possible well, I, you know, was uh, once doing the virtual real estate thing, right? Wholesaling and all of that. So you get the seller's agreement, right? And you put a clause in there for reassignment. That means after you've already got it signed with the seller, you can reassign that contract to somebody else. Oh, my God. Why am I doing this? Man, my wife don't divorce me, man. Why am I doing this? She gonna think I like y'all. She gonna get jealous. <laughs> I'm messing around, okay? I'm just having fun with you. Okay, so you sign, or the affiliate, the affiliate gets that seller agreement signed, and then they sell the contract to the realtor. And a realtor is buying a contract, not a lead. Not an appointment, not a booking, not a virtual tour or showing they're buying an actual contract of course the the realtor is going to give their you know preferences and okay these are the type of houses that we're looking for this is the type of commission i want out of it or whatever okay 
that's exactly how it goes. So what if you had a whole network, an affiliate network of affiliates that's going out and getting deals actually signed for realtors? Imagine how long, imagine how much these realtors would be at the closing table if they didn't have to do any prospecting. They didn't have to do any outreach or cold calling or follow up or door knocking or bull crap. They don't have to pay for Facebook ads, SEO or any of that. They only pay when they get an actual contract. Ah, so that's an, a niche affiliate network right there. And I'm going to show you guys a few affiliate networks. So I told you guys, let's do this one right here. And uh, let's see. Share the screen. So this is ClickBank. I don't know, you understand, like what you guys know about ClickBank, right? But if one of their top affiliates make five million a year, how much do you think of ClickBank is? Once again, you're gonna see that everything that I show you has something in common. They're just platforms, assets that allow people to handle their business on there and they get a lot of money. So ClickBank is just a place that allows vendors to put their digital products, services, courses, and all of that on there. And then affiliates come on and they promote their stuff. And the affiliates run the ads and do all of that extra marketing stuff. The, uh, the vendor gets sales and ClickBank get a percentage of that. And they're worth, they, they turn over a billion dollars annually, just in case you guys don't know. Just for being a platform that connects affiliates with business owners or vendors. Okay, so then we're going to get Max Bounty. Max Bounty, let's do this. Okay. Where is... We'll do 2022. Right here in 2022, it told us that ClickBank did... They different. They did, ClickBank did $681.5 just in 2022. But that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> a little million. That's crazy. As the own the platform, don't have to run ads, don't have to do any of the marketing sales. They're just a matchmaker of services and value. All right, so Max Bounty estimated evaluation annually is $186.6 million, and they're just a platform right here. Ain't nothing too special about Max Bounty. Look at it. It's just a, a regular site. The site don't even look all that. <laughs> it don't even look all that. But guess what? Guess what makes it powerful? They have over 30,000 affiliates with over 3,000 active campaigns. So they reached out to 3,000 businesses and said, guess what? You ain't got to ever pay for marketing ever again. We got these affiliates. They're going to spend all their time, money, and efforts sending you sales. Let me just put your offer on our site. Boom. And watch your business grow. Oh, yeah. That's why an affiliate network is like freaking like magic. You understand what I'm saying? So these are the things that you guys are going to be building or having built for you and populating with traffic and monetizing in the asset empire. OK, so now I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to go back over there to the next one. man. We're going to go to the next one, baby. Oh, I'm getting hot in here. And Nelly ain't nowhere around with that stupid song. OK, boom. So. <laughs> All right. So next is the niche e-commerce platform. Do I really got to talk to y'all about this one? OK, a niche e-commerce platform is a platform that allows businesses to sell products and services within a specific industry or market segment. These types of platforms can be highly profitable because they provide a streamlined solution for businesses to sell products or services. All right. And then, of course, they're going to use Shopify as an example of this one. And in a minute, I'll show you the network uh, network for Shopify. But before we do all of that, are you guys put a one in the chat if you guys are understanding why building these platforms are extremely profitable and powerful? Put a one in the chat if you understand that by now. Come on, help me out, man. Let me get some engagement, man. Participate, man. What's going on with y'all? Are y'all asleep, man? Let's do this. Okay. All right. KFC Solutions say one. All right. Let's get this. All I need is one mic, man. Are y'all hearing me? All I need is one mic. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm talking about, y'all. You can be the drop shipper or you can be Shopify. 
Now, when you say it like that, it sounds pretty embarrassing to be the drop shipper, don't it? But if you go on YouTube right now, you're going to see a lot of drop shippers bragging that they made $10,000 yesterday or something. But all I got to, in my mind, how my mind works, it always just goes up another level and asks a different question. If Hold on. If you made $10,000 yesterday, how much did the platform make that you sold that on? That's how I think. Like, it just automatically says, okay, well, congratulate, good for you on that level. But what about, what about them? That means, and you're not the only one. That's a minimal earner. It's people making a million dollars a day on Shopify. So if they're making a million dollars a day and you made $10,000 a day and, and there's a whole bunch of the, how much is the platform worth? Come on, y'all. Come on. Okay, so this is why we're going to be building an e-commerce platform. You're like, how are we going to be getting people over to these? It's very simple. People put their business out. Everything is public. Everything has a tag or a hashtag or a profile. It's very easy. You scrape all of this and you just create a better offer than Shopify. Shopify is so big that they don't have time to focus on satisfying the individual user anymore. This is why we created a platform that works specifically with drop shippers to get the highest conversions possible. And we don't take a bigger cut than Shopify. On top of that, your new profile or when you create your site on Shopify, whatever the alternative is going to be named, will also come with ads that you can plug straight in. It will also come with an SEO game plan. It will also come with recommended partners that you can collab with that will get you streamlined traffic to get sales, blah, blah, blah. So you simply just make something that makes it seem as if you care way more than the big guy. And you're going to get, you're going to siphon in an astronomical amount or at least a decent amount of people to your platforms. If you guys didn't read the book, Irresistible Offer, like I told you guys to, listen, I don't even think that should be um, just a recommendation. I think that needs to be mandatory. Matter of fact, that'll probably be a stipulation even before the dang old thing uh, uh, boot camp drops because I need your mindset to be changed. I need you to be reprogrammed. It's a lot of limited beliefs that we have out here. It's a lot of uh, uh, um, you know caps that we put on, my, on ourselves. I, I can make this much per day. I can make that. Do you understand that, what is that, Coca-Cola or Pepsi? They make $19 million a day and we sitting here trying to make $15,000 a day. What system do you put in place? What mergers or joint ventures do you have to put in place to get to $19 million in a freaking day? A lot of people ain't seeing that in their lifetime. So I want us to like, you understand, elevate because these are just people. They're no better than you. If they can accomplish these great things, it's, a, it's something up here. The only thing that separates us from these type of people is mindset, resources, and access, and assets. If you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you ain't got no assets. Bars. Remember that. Okay, so mine is limit. Says anybody with a few grand can copy these platforms, crypto exchanges, website builders, and services. The difference is those who do and those who don't. Exactly. And then you need your positioning. So there's a lot of people to go out and copy these platforms, but they don't have a plan for positioning. Positioning yourself to leverage others to profit recycle. Those are the three business principles that will make you successful no matter what. It's not an accident. These people don't get lucky. Positioning yourself to leverage others to profit recycle. Okay, so now I think we got one more. Yeah, we got one more. Okay. So this is, oh, I said I was going to see it. What's, okay, so Shopify Capital has grown to $4.3 billion since its launch. Now, I got to share the screen because y'all might think I'm BSing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can't get rich quick. That's a scam. Anything that says you can get rich quick is a scam. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead and get rich slow. Tell me how it feels while you're chilling on a beach as a 103-year-old almost corpse with your congratulations on your, on your chest that you finally reached your first million dollars at 103 years old. You can get rich slow all you want to, 
But I, as for me and my people, we're going to follow the formulas that God set in place. If you weren't here during the Sabbath day, as we broke down the literal formulas that all of these gigantic corporations and companies use to uh, amass great wealth and achieve great feet, you need to make sure you hear this Sabbath day as well. All of you guys on here is is almost 40 of you guys set your freaking reminders and alarms. Because this week we're going to go over your house blueprint. The reason why you're still screaming out, oh, Jesus, almost 4000 years later is a reason for that. How do you do that? How do you pull that off with your business? OK, so we're going to go over that this Sabbath day, but let's get back to it. So Shopify, as you guys can see, is. $4.3 in cumulative capital funded since the launch in 2016. Oh, come on, do your math. That was only, what, seven years ago? $4.3 bit? That's getting rich. That's getting rich pretty fast. That's getting rich pretty fast. Shopify is a scam. Man, be quiet. <laughs> Man, be quiet. I don't want to hear it. Listen, public service announcement. Don't come to my comment sections or live streams spreading hate. We are a positive community that we're building. Everybody here wants to make um, um, you know, money. Uh, they want passive income, but they're gonna do it through assets and they're gonna do it legitimately, respectively. You understand? We don't do no scam game over here. So don't come here with the hate just because you don't get it. Pray for the understanding that you do get it. That's all I can tell you, okay? Um, Jose said, I'm just seeing this now. How do I, how, how do I get started? I would suggest you go back. Uh, um, I don't know. We had a, a, a lot of live streams over the past couple of weeks. You go back and just educate yourself, man. And, and, you know, kind of indoctrinate yourself because we talk differently on this channel than a lot of these other channels. So you're going to start thinking differently and you're going to start wanting more for, for yourself and doing more for yourself. All right. Uh, how do you get more with less? That's a good question right there. Start asking yourself that. How do you get more with less? Okay. Also, how, uh, 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 stop asking how and start asking who or what. Don't ask yourself, how do I achieve this? Ask who can do this for me or what like resource or software can do this for me. All right. So these are the type of things we're going to plug into our mindset. Uh, mine is the limit says, what do politicians do to get the word out that cuts out the Internet? Exactly. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. When you take things from other different industries and you plug, it makes you far more powerful in yours when everybody else is just sheep doing the same thing over and over and over. I apply the principles of the most high God. You understand? That's one of the things I do differently. Then I take it up a level. I'm not satisfied with participating. I want to be the owner of things. I don't want to be a Shopify millionaire. I want to be a, a type of Shopify. I don't want to be Amazon I, I, or, or uh, Amazon drop uh, drop shipper. I want to be a type of Amazon. I don't want to be um, a, a Facebook poster. I want to have a network similar to a Facebook. You understand? Like you got to. You understand? We're a lot of us, a lot of you guys watching this right now, we we at least over 30. It's at the time where you start thinking about being an owner. We ain't kids no more. We can't just make a couple thousand dollars and be Wee! you gotta start thinking about what you are going to own. Just because it's the age of the internet don't mean you don't need to own anything anymore. All right, it was real estate and land and all of that. Okay, but guess what? You still got real estate. It can be digital, a freaking directory is literally a monopoly. It's a monopoly board. Do you not believe me? When a person, <laughs> if you own a directory, and let's say I'm looking up houses for sale in Los Angeles, when they come onto the page for that, it's going to be 10, 13 different listings on that directory. You guys have been a Yelp before or something. Each one of those realtors had to pay for their spots to be featured. Isn't that the same thing as a monopoly? Oh, oh, snap. So every time someone lands on one of those listings, you get paid. Oh, oh, that's that's real life real estate. That's real life 
monopoly. So having an asset, a tangible asset that's valuable that you can pass. Now, that is that's business. You don't want to be a marketer. You leverage marketing to get you to a point where you dominate the market. Bars. Yes, we do. OK, mine is the limit. This is going to uh, this is the most open, real and honest channel. I keep coming back and there's nothing like it. All praises to the most I got. Y'all got to remember, man, this stuff, you know, all wisdom comes from above. So I appreciate a lot of y'all compliments and everything like that. But I just want y'all to remember where everything I know comes from. The things that set me apart, the reason I sound so different is because people speak their own mind. I speak what the father gives me. So you'll sound just like this the deeper you get into the scriptures. Make sure y'all show up on the Sabbath day. Make sure y'all show up, man. Don't miss it. Set your alarm for 11 a.m. Eastern. 11 a.m. Eastern on Saturday. I don't care what grocery shopping you think you need to do. You better do that stuff Friday or Sunday. Set your alarm for 11 a.m. This is going to give you the, uh, the advantage over anybody in your industry to know the things that I'm going to share with you on the Sabbath day. OK, you think the boot camp is all OK. You need to know this type of stuff, too. All right. Uh, Randy says your ideas are about life are great. I appreciate it. Gary said he said his alarm and his reminder for the Sabbath day. All praises to the most high. OK, let us let us continue. We got one more. This is the niche booking site, the niche uh, like booking calendar type situation. And I'm going to show you guys the power of owning this because on the on the surface, the thing just owning an appointment booking site like Calendly. OK, I'm just getting paid off of the subscriptions is already some good ones out there. Why would anybody want to use my booking calendar? I need you guys to see through what this is and see what it can do. OK, watch this. A niche appointment booking site. A niche appointment booking site is a platform that allows businesses to schedule appointments with customers. OK, and I'm yelling that for a reason within a specific industry. These type of sites can be highly profitable because they provide a streamlined solution for businesses to schedule appointments, blah, blah, blah. Give you a little templated outline of why it's profitable. I'm going to tell you why Calendly and all of these sites really are profitable. Remember, it's a marriage between two different parties. Well, you're in there too. So technically three polygamy bars. No, I'm just playing. Okay. It's a marriage between technically two, the customer and a business owner. The business owner needs appointments. They need it to be organized so they ain't just keeping it on their phone and stuff, right? And then the customer is set an appointment because they need a product or a service that they're trying to buy. Oh, you are there. You're there from the beginning. That means you know what both of them want. You know that the business owner want more appointments. Come on, man. Do I got to spell it out? You know that the business owner want more appointments and you know exactly what the customer wants to buy. And guess what? You got both of their contact information. <laughs> oh, snap. When the customer fills out their booking calendar, he has to put their his email, a time to contact, the best time, best time to reach them. They got to put their number, their name on there. And the reason for booking the appointment. This means you can follow up through email, text, and all of that with other offers related to why they're setting an appointment in the first place. Ah, oh, snap. And then that business owner, the reason for, for getting this booking calendar service is they want someplace to place their appointments. Don't you think it would suck to have an empty booking calendar? So what do you what else could you sell that business owner that purchased your booking calendar? You can sell them more bookings. <laughs> <laughs> a plan for more bookings. How do we, oh, hey, you purchased this. We're going to help you fill out the calendar that you voluntarily purchased. How about that? You know exactly what they want when you own a platform. You have all of this data that teaches you how to just give people what they want. That means there's no friction for sales. 
People literally just go and just through impulse, just buy. Just like if they're in the store. If you get spaghetti noodles, it's just going to be an impulse to just go and get the what? Sauce. Say it loud. Sauce. The sauce. It's just going to be impulse. If they're already on the platform, the grocery store, and they get one thing, just impulse is just going to get the other things that go with it. You're not going to just go buy cereal. When I say cereal, what do you think of? Milk. Milk. And I say peanut butter, you think of? Yeah. Come on, y'all. Your platform is that. <laughs> Alfredo sauce. <laughs> Alfredo sauce. Y'all played too much, all right? Hey, what's up, Cynthia? I ain't sent you in a minute. Um, yeah, it starts at 5 p.m. Whenever I go live, it's always going to be 5 p.m. unless... You know, we are in Panama, so <laughs> I just want to apologize ahead of time, guys. If I ever tell, hey, we're going to go live at this time and y'all don't hear nothing, that means Panama had an outage or something out here. That occurs frequently in Hispanic, a lot of Hispanic and Asian countries, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, Randy said, I missed the prompts you asked G G P T uh, chat GPT. What was it? Uh, are you talking about the real estate ones? All right, and Gary says Alfredo sauce and honey. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now, hey, you know, I it's a dude, uh, a gentleman that looks like me, that owns Cali. I'm gonna share my screen, and we're gonna together clap for this brother, and you're gonna get to see how much Cali is worth. All together now. Oh, snappage. And then we can see the year Calendly came out. Because getting rich quick is a scam. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Calendly is worth $3 billion. And it's just a calendar book in sight. It's just, it's just a book in sight. You understand what I'm saying? It's just a scheduling. It's just a scheduling and appointment site. You understand? So Watch this. And this is the dude that came out with it. Let me see. When was Calendly, Calendly founded? Uh, when did Calendly start? Oh, just like Cash App, 2013. And it's worth $3 billion, man. They got 10 million monthly users. So what is it? Is the vision of simplifying scheduling for everyone without the back and forth emails. Very simple. The reason why simple business models work nowadays is because simple business models are built on top of assets. They're built on top of platforms that allow these simple business models to thrive and build a life of their own through the user generated content. You create the platform, you get like three to 15 people on there and they start sharing it with people that's in their same exact industry and soon before you know it, it's just you ain't even really got to do so much marketing about it. <sighs> um, he said the niche ones. Okay, let me go back and share my screen. And this this is it. These, these ain't like keywords or nothing. These are just the six business models we're going to be uh, monetizing and the asset, the eight week asset empire bootcamp. Okay, so everybody is gonna leave there with a monetized niche directory. Anytime I, you hear me say the word niche, just in case you guys are new to like internet and marketing and all of that, niche just means industry. Or a lot of people that say niche or vertical. So it just means industry pretty much. So what industry plus a directory? You can have a, a, a nursing home directory. You can have a babysitting directory. You can have a pet grooming directory. You can have a, a pest control directory. You understand? You can have a car sales directory, car rental directory, car washing directory, mm -hmm. car a detailing directory. Chef directory. Oh, a, a, a private chef directory. Uh, um, freaking truck driving directory, truck driving school directory. Mm -hmm. House cleaning. Uh, House cleaning directory. It's a gazillion niches, guys. And this is what we're going to go over. And you're going to pick obscure niches so that you can, like, get rid of the competition. Be the first. Be one of the first directories for that industry 
and you don't have to do as much work dominating that industry. Okay, so then we got number two, which is the niche social network. Okay, the niche social network is like your own version of LinkedIn or Facebook, but you're going to niche down. You're going to pick a niche for that, an industry for that, and you're going to go deep into that niche. You understand what I'm talking about? You're only going to have a niche directory for college professors. I don't know. A niche directory for um, um, hair uh, beauticians. <laughs> a niche directory for vending machine owners. I don't know. I'm just giving, just throwing some stuff out there. Just, that's crazy because I was just thinking about a hair braiding directory. Yeah. Because I know a lot of hair braiders and there's so many cities and there's so many braiders out there. Exactly. It was a brother that created an app. Um, damn, what is his name? And it's just so that you can find your local uh, tattoo, best tattoo artists. Oh. So if you're a tattoo artist, you can upload your work to this app and through geolocation and all of that stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If you're a person that go on there and you want a tattoo, you will be con it's, it's basically the Uber app for tattoo artists. Mm -hmm. It ain't that hard, y'all. Okay, so then we got the next one, which is niche website builder for Wix or WordPress. I mean, uh, similar to a Wix or WordPress, and I told y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, t I already didn't show y'all why it's so powerful to be a website builder platform. Then niche affiliate network, extremely powerful. Uh, niche e-commerce platform. And then last but not least, we got the niche appointment booking site similar to a Calendly, okay? So how are we gonna fill these up, okay? We have softwares that are gonna do that. Some of the softwares you guys seen, okay? And there's a whole crap load of softwares that we can use to do this. And you can do joint venture partnerships, guys. You know what I'm saying? You use one of these scraping tools to get all of your best partners. Uh, um, let me see, hold on, I gotta... Plug this charger up. It don't stay charged long for nothing, y'all. That's what happens when you forget to unplug your freaking computer, right? Okay. <clears throat> and these Panamanian computers. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get a new computer because it takes forever for uh, Amazon stuff to get here. And these Panamanian computers, no offense, boy. They be having some 2003 computers talking about some 1000 bucks. I'm like, what? <laughs> if you don't get out of here with that. All right, <laughs> so for real, they still got flip phones out here, but I ain't gonna talk stuff, right? I love it out here, <laughs> but this definitely ain't the place to get your electronics from, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, so what was I saying? Okay, so you're building your platforms. You're gonna learn about joint venture partnerships. You're gonna learn about affiliates. You're gonna learn about ads. You're gonna learn about SEO positioning, all of that, leveraging others so that you don't even have to spend a dime to do a lot of things, right? These are all the ways that you're going to fill your platforms. And remember, how it's going to be monetized is going to be monetized to the point to where you don't need a lot of users on your platform. I'm not promising you guys that you'll be bigger than these people. I'm not even bigger than these people. But what I can say is the assets that I've built have allowed me passive income. You know what I'm saying? So remember, I'm always going to stay lowly. I'm never going to promise you guys that you're going to be a specific level. But what I am going to promise you guys is that you don't have to be a slave to other people's dreams, other people's products and services and goals. You can be the actual plantation owner. <laughs> that might not sound too good, right? But you get what I'm trying to say. Wait, they just moved it online. It's still, I mean, you know, it pretty much is. is. Like, like an affiliate network is literally... A plantation is just digital. All these people come to work for free. I mean, they're doing the work for free up front. They're running that. They're spending their money to run the ads. They're spending their time to do the SEO and, and do all of that. And they only get paid when they get a sale. That's what an affiliate network is. And then there's one person at the top that owns the affiliate network, just yeah. like a plantation. <laughs> Like uh, Beachbody. Beach Beachbody. You, you guys that? heard about Beachbody, right? Beachbody, the fitness, it got Insanity, P90X, all of them. They went out. They just built the platform. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. They built the platform, Beachbody.com. Then they reached out to all of these personal trainers that are struggling to get clients and said, hey, 
we got a lot of traffic, guys. Why don't you record a course and put it on our dang own platform? And then these people recorded a course on their own. They put it on the platform, and Beachbody charges a monthly subscription. Yeah. And these coaches get to charge. They get to upsell you to uh, coaching sessions. They get to uh, uh, get you to pay for their supplements and, and all of that extra stuff in their and their gear, they workout stuff, and what else? Uh, what you was going to say? I said basically an MLM. Yeah, it's kind of like, MLM. It's not, I guess. The, it's not the celebrity coaches like Shanti and. Oh yeah, and and you, you and, yeah, you're not gonna get to like speak to like Shanti or or, or uh, Tony Horton and then the coaches that you're gonna get the session with will be some other lower level coaches. You understand what I'm saying? But they get paid to uh, fill that platform up. So do you guys see the formula? All of them use it. Am I making this up? Am I making this up? <laughs> If I was to um if I was to own a digital plantation, I would just make sure my workers would get paid what they are worth and then teach them how to do what I'm doing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh Cynthia said, OMG, a digital plantation. <laughs> Listen, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's what it is. I mean, in this generation, like we we can't really people get offended by everything. We can't really say what's what something really is. If you say, "Hey, man, that coat is white," somebody say, "What? How dare you tell me this coat is white?" <laughs> what do you want me to say, Blanco? Uh, like, what do you want? Me, what would you want me to say? Like, right? Okay, <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all, right? Okay, so we got 44 people on here, man. I appreciate y'all rocking with us. So tell me what y'all thinking, man. Tell me what y'all thinking. It's or are, are the wheels turning in here? Like, I'm happy we get to congregate with each other. Like, trust me, like, I got friends and stuff. Uh, well, I don't know if I can call them friends no more, but homeboys or whatever, but they ain't know nothing like this. You understand? So I just spend time with my wife and my children. And now I'm in a whole nother country and I'm not fluent in Spanish, so I really ain't got nobody to congregate with until y'all come to the mastermind. That was a plug right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but don't worry, you'll be using the money that you make in the boot camp bars. Get your butt out here to Panama and enjoy yourself. All right. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, guys, so we're going to let's recap. We're going to build five to seven awesome assets in this eight week boot camp. And you guys just saw them. We're going to speak about them over the next couple of weeks. How, whatever day you guys choose for the release of the launch, just make sure you're ready. Get your, your ducks in a row, as they say. You understand? Stack your pennies. You understand what I'm talking about? Do your thing, right? Just make sure you're there. I don't care how you get there. Get there if you can. You understand what I'm talking about? Do your thing because it will be such a sadness. It will be preposterous. It will be ludicrous. If we didn't went through all of this and I didn't showed y'all all of this, and y'all don't show up. It just would be. You understand what I'm saying? Make sure y'all show up on the Sabbath day and learn God's principles for business, for life, for all of this stuff to make things easier. We had a Bible study this morning that was immaculate. And every time we go through it, this is our second time going through Ecclesiasticus. We just learn more stuff about life, friendship, relationship, business, all of that stuff. If you don't read anything else, read Ecclesiasticus and Proverbs. Uh, Ecclesiasticus and Proverbs. You're going to become wise beyond belief. Trust me. Okay. Um, Cynthia said, LOL, I like this crowd. We learn and laugh at the same time. Yes, Lord. Listen, I couldn't, I couldn't be on here this long if I was going to be serious the whole time. I just, that ain't me. That's just not me. How I am on here is how I am off, off here. That's the only way I can be consistent. If I started acting, you know, I can't, I can't be consistent. I can't consist. I can't do it. All right. Um, mind is limit said idea. 50% of America is broken homes. AI app that acts as third party between parents that handles scheduling and court orders, diminish fights and builds relationships. Wow. Yeah. Dang. So, hey, you should probably call that mediator. If it ain't no name for that out there already, that'll be nice. Mediator. 
Craig Burns said, what are you going to do with long tail keyword? I guess he's asking, what are you going to do with the long tail keywords? Uh, are you talking about the real estate part when we were talking about the real estate? Well, basically what you'll do, let me just show this real quick. Where are we? Did we delete that? Oops, I ain't going to try to show that to y'all yet. Where are we at? Here we go. All right. So basically, you will take this and you will ask, uh, oh, I wrote ask in there. Um, write an article about why it would be good for a family of three to move into a blank keyword bow let's see what it does oh snap is telling me is writing content for this keyword why it would be good oh i don't know why i said a family of three for one bear <laughs> that wouldn't be good <laughs> i bet i think i'm getting sleepy y'all all right the steam is coming right okay so but <laughs> as you can see is writing an article okay there it go it's including the second bedroom too oh no sec oh never mind it's still talking about a one bedroom look at all of this it's creating all this content so what would you do with these keywords you would create content from these keywords and then put this content on pages you will take this same article you will create videos out of this article by plugging the script into pictory pictory you will take the ai voice because you can still use the ai voice on your own websites you can still use ai voice to rank uh, videos on youtube and, and google so far right so you will put this script into pictory pictory will create the video put the b-roll all of that and now you got a video that you can rank as well so now you got an article that's going to start ranking on google and you can start getting leads for this all right and you got the video that can start bringing in leads as well, all derived from chat GPT knowledge. Oh yeah, and you will just do this for every last one of these. Remember what I said, once it creates this article, you wanna then go to Google and type in free article spinner. But you also want to make sure you uh, tell it to do things like rewrite it with humor, include uh, popular, landmarks in the areas boom so now it's making it more human so after you have it do this part right here you're simply going to take the newer the new improved version of this and you're going to plug it into the free article spinner and now it's going to be like super um <laughs> original if you want to call it that the prompts getting very specific and creative with the problems was already making it the original content but then you go and you re-spin it you understand what i'm saying you can tell it to include slang where I, that's one of my little tricks i say include modern day slang terms include a few jokes you understand what i'm talking about include movie references come on man be creative with it i'm turning into mid condition y'all breaking my heart man Boot camp, I think the bomb. Yes, boot camp is gonna be the bomb. It is gonna be a bomb. The bomb. You understand what I'm talking about? Ah, yes. So uh, Gary said they can save money in a one bedroom. <laughs> you play too much, man. I didn't, listen. I wasn't paying attention when I went and grabbed that. When I said a three bed, look, I'm just I'm freestyling for y'all live so y'all can know this is skill and not luck. All right. So he said when you watch this again, remember the. The 62 minute mark. Look, quit playing, man. <laughs> I'm getting a headache, dude. Listen, we just, um, I'm getting deeper in keto now. Like, what's this, day six? No, eight. This day eight? Mm -hmm. Oh, dang, man. <laughs> so, this is the eighth day, man. But I'm going to go ahead and flip over to carnivore because keto, even though it's just, it's just as healthy and it's getting rid of all the processed foods and all the crap and stuff, you lose weight kind of slower you know like a rapido i need rapido <laughs> so carnivore like the weight start coming off like that you understand so uh i'm gonna go ahead and switch over to carnivore you know i've been like trying to go slow you know what i'm saying because keto still allow you to have like a lot of flavor you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but when i switch over to carnivore you switching over tomorrow right 
No, I'm getting my last keto pizza tomorrow. You see how she tried to get me? No, tomorrow I'm getting my last keto pizza. So Friday I will start carnivore. So keto is low carb, but carnivore is zero carb. You can only eat meat, salt, and, and poultry and stuff like that. And, it's, it's, and it's you, you can only season it with salt. You know what I'm saying? Salt. Like that's it. And it's boot camp mode. Like for And real. it's like literally boot discipline camp. and boot camp. Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about? But guess what? Your brain, all the brain fog goes away. Your energy level, like all of your primal, whatever you had before all of the process, bull crap, like your mind, you start thinking like a freaking wizard with on corner board, man. Like, dude, like it, you, listen, the stuff that's holding y'all down might be the food. The stuff that's holding your money back might be the food. You understand what I'm saying? Because when I get rid of all the crap, like, I, you think I'm good now, dude. Like, I'm like a freaking machine when when when, when I'm on corner board. All right? So, and yes, I'm going to remember the 62-minute mark. Look at them making fun of me, man. You see this, man? That's messed up. No, I just shared about, myself. No, you no. talking about this was the bomb. You oh, you talking about that? Yeah, what you just said. <laughs> I thought he was talking about because I was, um, because I put the one bedroom in there for no, three people. No. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Well, so basically, guys, you would just take this article and well, let's just come over here for the people that don't know. Man, I ain't even posted in the dang on comments just in case y'all want to go there. So this is Pictoria right here. Dang, I got to log in. It's going to open up in another browser, I think. Oh, no, it's opening up this one. Okay, there. So. In case you don't know, Pictorial will take any script that you have and it will create a video out of it. Dang, dude. What is it? Okay, yeah, log me in, log me in, log me in, Mo. All right. You click on proceed. And I would like the proceeds of this video to go to all of the people that suffered in Hurricane. I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, you see that super chat. Y'all already know what to do with that. If you see that cash app, that's exactly where you toss that cash at. So we're going to proceed right here. All right. And we're going to just choose any type of template. Select. Come on, man. Hurry up, man. What's going on? See, it's running slow because we on here live. So right now, it's process is creating the video right now out of the script. This is like freaking craziness. This is ludicrous. You understand? Made me want to disturb the peace and the neighbors and yell real quick. You understand what I'm talking about? All right, so please wait while the uh, video story uh, storyboard is being created. Okay. All right, so as you see, it brings it up in the script over here. So it automatically creates, it automatically creates captions and transcribes videos and all of that stuff. You got it in the scenes. So uh, right now it don't have any sound on it. So if you wanted to use an AI voice guy, guys and gals, you would just click on audio right here. Yes, Lord. And then you would click on uh, voice over right here. And then you would stroll down with our Bobby Valentino. And I usually use Chris because Chris is the one that sounds the most human to me, like out of all of them. And you would say, Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases conversion rates by 80%. Welcome to Pictory. See? So then you would just click apply. And then you would click generate. You understand? You can even like make it go straight into Hootsuite so that you can schedule it out and all of that extra stuff. Boom. So literally, you took the script and you created a dang on real estate video for it. As you can see, look down here. If I click on the scenes or whatever, uh, I'm trying to go to the scenes. Yeah. As you can see, like you can click on the scenes and it pretty much show the areas that we're talking about. Look at this. It find like story story block or footage and and all of that extra stuff that's um you know not copyright and all of that stuff. You understand, man? This is like it's freaking crazy. Man. This is crazy. <sighs> it's crazy, man. So what y'all thinking, man? How y'all feeling, man? <laughs> Somebody said, uh, "Oh, Gary said for your meat pause, <laughs> Redmond real sea salt." Natural, unrefined, organic, gluten-free, seasoning eight. Um, like I don't shake it. Yeah, it sounds like, you know, something, something, right? Yeah. He said, Pictory worth the weight in gold. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, KFC said, yes, allow it. <laughs> and Gary said, they use Storyblock and many others included. Yes, they do. 
All right. And for you guys that are not in the group or in Build a Raw, I'm going to put the link right here in the uh, the chat right here. Boom. You guys definitely need to be in the group. Okay. Do what you got to do and live in color. Doom, doom, doom. All right. Everybody here is equally kind. Let me stop for the uh demonetize the video. <laughs> okay. And I just show my age. A lot of y'all don't even know what the heck the living color is, right? Oh man, you late, Travis, man. What's going on, man? Where you was at, bro? But it's gonna be recorded. It's, it's recorded, you know. We, you know, after a few minutes, like and it's done processing when we get off here, it's gonna uh it's gonna like the up the replay is gonna be uploaded. And if you guys don't know this, I usually have the uh this uploaded in the morning time as the replay as well we chop it up and we try to get the highlights and all of that stuff and we upload that so that i don't have to create brand new videos every five minutes right because we kill it right here so why not watch it again right bars all right he said he had to get some gas for the heater <laughs> Hell no, I ain't in no 50 Cynthia thing. Do I look like I'm in the 50s? I need to get some sleep. She said in the 50s? Oh, no. Whoa. She said laugh out loud. Oh, yeah, that's racist right there. That's racist. That's sexist. That's um, 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 fat shaming. That's, uh, <laughs> I'm going to name all of them. She, 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 you deceived me. Ain't nobody tell you this was an all white party. Hmm? No. Uh, dang, she said in the fifties. Oh, that was disrespect. Now, nah, I'm thirty six, man. Dang, she tossed me up to grandpa stage, man. <laughs> uh, all right, mine is the limit. Says decentralized independent artist platform that cuts out promoters, manager, and big corp uh, by allowing fans to buy tickets directly. Listen, what I tell y'all last time. <laughs> don't give it all of it like don't give it you know just get the vague idea type situation because it is some thieves on here or some people that don't want to use their own brain and they'll be like hmm that's nice let me go do that before he does okay so all right just give a little bit of idea but don't go too deep into the the uh you know details on here okay <laughs> he said are you watching the living color on youtube <laughs> I ain't watching the Living Color no more, y'all. <laughs> it just came to my it came to my head because I was saying something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man, y'all, 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 messing with me now. Listen, but I, <laughs> no, when you, you hey, we was kids when they was watching the Living Color. You know that don't mean I'm I was Keenan's age or any of them dudes. You know. Homie don't play that. I was a kid when that stuff was, you know what I'm saying? Like, we was going around with the socks and clucking people upside the head with them. So my homie don't play it, but I wasn't on the show. I'm not the same age as none of them. <laughs> no, our parents was watching in Living Color, and that's how we were introduced to it. It's a whole different generation, man. If that was the case, I would have been on Jennifer Lopez. If I'm that old, I would have I would have been there, man. I would have been on set. I would have been on Jennifer Lopez and said, hey. I see potential in you. You you dancing as a backup, you know what I'm saying? But you you know, you don't know we can get you in movies with Wesley Snipes called Money Train. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. She said, You my son's age. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now you sunning me. No, I'm just playing. Uh <laughs> but I guess, I guess, guys, I had a lot of fun, man. What you guys think? Did y'all have a lot of fun? Did y'all learn a lot? On this live stream, my goal is for y'all to learn a lot, but ain't no cashing without action. You understand? So it's not about just coming on here and learning. When y'all get off of here, my hopes is not for you to just wait for the boot camp. When we get to the boot camp, I want you to have something to show. But like, look, Dad, are y'all's real? Hey, I've been working on this. I already got a head start on a lot of this stuff. All I need is for you to help me take it to a different level. I'm like, dang, that's where it's at. You understand? So implement a lot of this stuff that we talk about. Uh, plug it into what you guys are already doing. A couple of you guys, this ain't the, this ain't the first day. A couple of you guys have been saying that you're just you just got your license and real estate and all of that. Guess what? Now you can like 
catapult yourself and get 10 times more deals than anybody else locally in your in your in your um areas you can dominate zip code by zip code by zip code by zip code you understand neighborhood by neighborhood by neighborhood by neighborhood you understand like literally ah <sighs> thank god for y'all too i'll praise to the most high god travis said i've been going through your, your videos i'm gonna get in that boot camp Hey, I like the conviction. You understand what I'm saying? He said he, he sounds determined. You understand what I'm talking about? Make sure y'all go to the community tab. I post a po I posted a poll and I asked, what day do y'all want me to launch on? Because a lot of people will release their stuff and people don't even be knowing about it. Just like if somebody album come out, you'd be like, what? They dropped the album last year? No, I'm going to ask the people. You understand? When do you want this to happen? All right, when will this be suitable for you and when will it be comfortable for you? So I put two dates on there to choose from. I'll share the screen one more time and we'll go back over there. And uh, here we go. Here we come, yo. Here we go. <laughs> here we come, yo. Here we go. Flip mode squad. Here we go. If y'all know who that is, then maybe I am old. That's Buster Rhymes, okay? All right, girl, you gonna chill. All right, what day right here? You see, it's on the community tab right here. I want all y'all. It's forty four y'all on here right now. Fungal right now. Feel the fish. All y'all come over here. It says, what day should we launch our three K asset empire eight week boot camp to build passive income using AI bots, Chat GPT, and monetize assets? Okay. So I got two options. A lot of people came as if they can. There's only three votes on there so far. Let me refresh the page and see if anybody else would. All right. <laughs> Yo, y'all are super patient, and I appreciate that, man. Listen, because if it was some BS, I probably would have dipped, man. Listen, <laughs> Travis said, looks like now is a good time to go vote on what day to launch the book. <laughs> exactly. Be productive. <laughs> you understand? man listen i appreciate y'all i just want to express my gratitude uh because i know y'all got stuff to do you understand what i'm saying so like dude i don't know what's up like i think i got a i told y'all i'm running parallels on this computer i think i'm gonna just buy like two other why i got the lid off my dang on water dude where's my top okay yeah give me that give me that give me that all right I think I'm gonna just buy like two other Windows computers or something, and that's where I'm gonna run my softwares from because this Mac is crazy as hell while I'm running softwares. Um, yes, we back. We back like vertebrae. Okay. He said, Gary say you worth the wait. Man, I appreciate that. Listen, I appreciate y'all time as well. So that's why I try to be, you know, have this as value packed as possible with actionable steps that you can take to implement for your current businesses and new assets that you plan to build in the future. You understand? Um, Gary said, Gary said February 20th. That way you don't have to cancel any more live streams. Listen, I heard that, man. Okay, so did y'all actually, did y'all see it? Hold on. So we got 11 new ones. Let me share my screen one more time so y'all can see how to actually go over and vote. Excuse me. All right. So these are the options, guys. Just make sure you set an alarm for. Okay. Um. So we got eleven votes for the. Hey, man, it's still. <laughs> it's eleven votes, and January twenty eighth is still winning. January twenty eighth is still winning, but we'll see what happens in the morning. I think I'm gonna give it two days to see like where this goes. Uh, before I actually make a decision, tell everybody in the group to come over and vote as well, guys. Make sure y'all do that. Tell them to come over to the community tab right here on the channel. The channel name is Anti Job University. And just tell them to type in Anti Job University and vote so we can go ahead and pick a day. A lot of y'all seem like y'all just want to go ahead and get, get, it, get the game going. Like, why wait? Grab a, an asset, right? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So February 20th, you know, most of y'all, yeah, I guess y'all balling then, huh? Y'all balling. I was trying to make it to where, you know, uh, it's definitely around the time where everybody should have a taxes type situation. 
because I don't want nobody to be late. Remember, it's an eight-week boot camp, and it's going to be taught live. Yes, you're going to have access to the course. The course is going to have recordings in there of how to do all of this stuff, but ain't nothing better than actually being there live. So we're going to be live two days a week, plus the replays, plus interviews with actual asset owners. Plus, you get to meet the developers of these assets. Come on, man. Come on. If this stuff was around back when I was trying to learn this stuff, golly, I would be one of them yelps that y'all saw that we were just talking about a minute ago. So, Laura willing, something awesome comes uh, from you guys. You understand? Uh, okay, so you guys see it right here. You just come over to the community tab and you vote. Now, let's Stop sharing that screen. And one more time, I want y'all to write down, write down uh, these, these things over here. Let's come back over here so that you can start thinking about, uh, thinking about like the types of assets that you want. Okay, I'm trying to get over here in chat GPT. Bear with me, because I'm kind of grisly. No, I'm just playing. Bear with me. I'm trying to get this chat GPT working. Let me refresh the page. Come on, baby. I appreciate it. Um, Gary just posted the link to where you guys can go to the uh, community and just go ahead and vote right now if you want to. Open it up in a different browser so you don't lose the video, the, the live stream, and select your vote of the day that you guys believe you'll be able to do it. Uh, I'm not going to close it off, you know, but it's an eight week boot camp. So it's only going to be live eight weeks. <laughs> so anything, anybody that purchases after that or whatever, is not going to be live anymore. The next live thing you'll see is the mastermind, right? Um, let's see. Okay. So write these down. These are the six business models that we're going to be dealing with and participating in during the boot camp. Also, if you just get in the course, if you get in the course, you still you're still gonna know how to do this. It'll just be more of just you doing it and following the instruction, right? So if you are a person that feel like you need your hand held or you just want to be part of the like live community and like it's just if you have fun right here, imagine me bringing other people in uh, other asset owners and builders and developers, us actually doing this stuff live, getting users on there, getting wins together, profiting together and doing all of this extra stuff, showing you things that I haven't been able to show you on YouTube and stuff. You understand? So it's up to y'all. All right. OK, so write these niches down. Number one is niche directory. Uh, the right directory. You guys can do, go do some research on directories and everything like that. Uh, while you guys are, you know, waiting. And then niche social network, that's number two. Then niche website builder, then niche affiliate network, then the e-commerce platform. Come on, y'all. Just even you building one of these and getting into a, a moderate amount of, a modest amount of users on a platform, just one of these. So I'm teaching you to build like a little moat around your freaking kingdom, your castle, you understand? So where you're booked, where you're good. You understand? You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to hurt no more. You understand what I'm talking about? Okay. So when you guys get a chance, head over there and vote. Also go over there to the Facebook group instantaneously, immediately. All right. And comment something in the group of what you learned from today's live stream. Okay. Please do that. Please participate because we're trying to create a community. If you guys need it again, uh, there we go. That's the link right there. It has the everything you need right there, including the Facebook group. OK, uh, Travis says so far, I got 10 days to come up with the funds. Time to buckle down and start producing. Yes, Lord. He said producing, which was the first commandment that we went over in the in the scriptures on uh, last Sabbath day. Being fruitful. That's creating something, producing something. And he just said it right there. Yes, Lord. So there we go, right? So go ahead and do what you got to do. And you said 10 days. That's only if everybody still chooses January 28th. 
<laughs> right? But, you know, some people want February 20th. So we'll see how it turns out. You might have, like, what is that? Almost another dang on month, right? So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. And don't, don't worry. I have faith that you guys are going to be able to make moves to do it. Uh, <laughs> somebody said necrophilia. Who said necrophilia? Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although necrophilia network would be rather uh, uh, niche. <laughs> Yo, he got, he got, a, he got some dang on uh, some jokes for you, don't he? <laughs> All right, man. I enjoyed this with y'all. I don't even be wanting to get off here to tell you the truth. What I'm finna do? Go and watch some to his bedtime or something. Like I be, I be like in a like chill on here with y'all for real, for real. But you know, understand? I understand y'all got stuff to do. Uh, Yamir Ben Israel say all praises. Good session. May the Most High bless you, keep you, and shine His mercy and His grace on you uh, and your family. All praises to the Most High. Thank you, bro. You understand? I appreciate y'all for being on here as well, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, God led y'all to here, like, to me, because um, shoot, I, I'm still the same dude. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I still talk about the same stuff. If you go back to the videos that don't have all these views on it, I'm still j exactly like this. So, obviously, God, he chose when it was time for y'all to you know, be introduced for me and me to be introduced to y'all. And for me to be a blessing to y'all and y'all to be a blessing to me. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I'll praise it to the most high. So Gary Harrison, he said, auto, auto, correct. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all, man. I got to hydrate and eat one more bowl of cabbage before it's over because I'm going to that uh going to that carnivore after my, my keto pizza tomorrow. tomorrow. No keto pizza. No, no, no. You ain't fixing me no keto pizza right now. So I'm eating my keto pizza tomorrow. Hey, you just prolong All things are good with moderation. Now you leave just, me alone. You just prolonging. <laughs> I'm just, not prolonging nothing. You prolonging the good. Listen, don't argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Travis says, thank you for everything you do for us, for uh, your, uh, your helping me learn. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome, man. Uh, Javid. Khan said, have you made any money of ChatGPT yet so far? I've been doing this way before ChatGPT. Go back to 2015. You want to see me do, using AI bots and automation and all of that? Go to 2020 and look at everything that I uploaded. You'll see way before all of these big gigantic YouTubers, I've been talking about this stuff a long time ago. And yes, I've been making money with it. Okay? So I want you guys to research. Don't just look at the ChatGPT stuff. If you want to know if I'm real, look at the stuff before all of this. Okay? All right. I appreciate you guys for giving me your attention for a few hours and uh, me learning from you and, and being entertained uh, uh, by you as well as vice versa. And uh, I don't know if we're going live tomorrow. If You'll get an update, an email or something like that. Just make sure you guys uh, whitelist any emails that you get from my emails. We got a lot of different emails. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you're looking out for that type of stuff, and it'll give you a, a update of whether or not we're going live tomorrow. But like I said, I'm I gotta build these things, and I'm setting up the partnerships. I'm trying to make sure everything is going to be super impactful, and it's an experience, not just some course. I don't want it to be some course. I want it to be an experience for you guys, so where it like changes your freaking life forever in a positive way. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh, Travis said, "I don't want to miss no more." What time do you go live? We go live 5 p.m. Eastern. Anytime we go live, it's going to be 5 p.m. Eastern, okay? Uh, except for the Sabbath day. Set your alarm for the Sabbath day, which is Saturday. And that's going to be 11 a.m. Eastern. Make sure you're all y'all. It's 36 of y'all on here still. If you can be here today, you can be here on the Sabbath day, 11 a.m. Set aside whatever you got to do that day. Tell them, hey, listen, this is going to be for my soul as well as my business. So I'm going to be there on the Sabbath day, okay? I right, love you guys. Lord willing, I'll see you guys 